Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. I've just compiled a few clips from my earlier days as a revert so that we can have a little fun and kind of go back over the history of my channel. <laughs> Uh, so enjoy yourselves. This is my daughter and myself, uh, just reliving a few memories of my early days of being a revert. And she asks to share your thoughts on me, your mom, being a revert. Um, and if you would reveal to your friends that your mom wears niqab. What's a revert? Oh, somebody that's now Muslim that used to be. Uh, either an, of another faith or of no faith. And uh, she's asking my thoughts on it? Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah, your thoughts on it. That's the first question. What's your thoughts on it? I mean, nope. my first reaction to it was different than how I think about it now. But it's going to Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, brothers and sisters. We're doing a makeup tutorial where I'm doing my style of makeup on my daughter just for fun today. And we're using a pale pink like that. Okay. Blushed out. My face is always bright enough when I laugh. Uh -oh. The same way all the time. It's just really simple. So you just take it like this and <laughs> tuck it. Oh, it's cold. There's Under. a cold part on it. Stuck. I feel like I'm getting Wait. choked right now. <laughs> Wait a minute. There we go. Okay, sorry. And you just wrap it. You're wrapping it tight. I'm sorry, I can't <laughs> feel it on you. Wait. This one's not really working out very good. <laughs> and just like tuck it under like that. There. <laughs> oh, I did a really bad job. <laughs> oh, the sun's really bright today. Um, anyway, I was inside with the sisters. Um, the reverts and we were talking about what it is that uh, reverts actually need to be able to connect with the community and to be able to learn more about Islam and be comfortable and so Imam was actually talking about the fact that a lot of times when somebody comes in and they're moved to take the Shahada and they become a Muslim they don't have that community connection and support that they need and so sometimes they don't see that person again ever and that's really sad and it's important to really figure out how to support somebody that's coming in from either no religion or a different religion being able to connect with them and support them and offer them community so they can assimilate um, into their new faith and their new community and feel comfortable and welcome. A little Q&A for my YouTube channel and we're asking some questions to people that are living in America. Um, do you know what a Muslim is? Um, like an Islam? Like an yeah. Islamic person? Uh -huh. like Muhammad Ali's type of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like only only through like Muhammad Ali. That's like my knowledge about it. Other than that, like I can't tell you anything specific. Okay. Um tell me a little bit about yourself um here in America. Like what's your background, nationality, where you grew up and your age and stuff like that. I'm 21. I grew up with my grandma who's um really heavy into native politics so that's kind of like a big part of me um, my reservations are the the south dakota Sioux reservation and then a little bit of tacoma um grew up going to sun dances and tp meetings and sweats and stuff like that we usually, we usually say mashallah mashallah or you know to extend on that mashallah to barkallah right Let's see what it says in the book here. It says, um, we mostly say mashallah 
when admiring someone or something or when something good happens to a person, right? <laughs> so, mashallah, right? So we have a picture here of somebody looking at somebody's baby, right? If you see a cute baby or you're walking up to someone and then kind of turn around a little bit. Yeah, there we go. See how pretty that looks? So that's the square hijab and it has niqab underneath it. <laughs> That's my foot. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I just put the tripod on her foot. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't even see what I'm doing either. I have no glasses. You weren't on. even looking. Yeah. Don't you just go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that reminds me of the time that your sister put her thumb in the car door. <laughs> Her door. I was like, why isn't this car door closing? She was like, when I got out of the car, she was horrified because her thumb had gotten stuck in the car door and I kept trying to shut it, poor thing. Okay, from the questions and answers off of Instagram. Mom, restart but it. Why? tasty restaurants in here in Denmark. I just don't like to be hungry and sometimes it might be, you know, you might be tired or whatever and not want to go out. So it's good to have food, good to have snacks. But what I want to do is find a really nice bakery. I mean, this is Denmark, Danish, right? Danishes. <laughs> I want to find some really nice bread, some butter, some cheese, things to bring back to my um, hotel room with me because I'll be here for a week. It's my last day here in Copenhagen. I would love to stay longer, but I have responsibilities back home in America. So I'm gonna walk around outside and take you along with me, find some nice coffee in a Danish uh, pastry, <laughs> and uh, locate the train that's going to take me back to the airport tomorrow uh, so that I'm all set to go. So. Let's go take a walk around Copenhagen. I'm looking for a nice coffee house. Doing a little belly dance. Salam alaikum from London. So we took Virgin Airlines, and this was actually the first time we tried this airline. And Yes. to be able to come here and enjoy it at least once in their lifetime. <laughs> 